<laughs> What's up, YouTube? I am your boy, Tony Vogue, the E-Boy Zombie Slayer. And tonight I'm going to check out top 10 dark urban legends surrounding Zodiac signs. And for this, I needed a crystal ball, some crystal meth, and a white girl. Welcome back Me. to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. Here are the top 10 dark I'm urban the white legends girl, surrounding me. Zodiac signs. <laughs> Kicking off our list at number hey guys, 10, what's Dangerous the difference? Scorpios. Yeah, we'll start Between off a with tweaker the Zodiac sign, I was and a fortune teller. To. I was born a month early, luckily, so now I'm a Libra. But had I been um, born from October 23rd to November one 22nd, it would be Scorpio season. I would be a badass. Apparently, I don't know. Scorpios in the way are brave. That They're bashful disappear. souls. They're known no, to it's a crystal danger. ball and a ball of crystal. Like a scorpion <laughs> with an ass horn <laughs> thing behind them. I don't Yellow like them. Scorpions they're, vicious, they're fierce, but they're also quite jealous. Who knew? It was almost one of them. I'm definitely I'm one of them. jealous. They have venom inside them, like I'm your not jealous. Suggests. Leonardo DiCaprio. He's a Scorpio. It's pretty nice. But so is Charles Manson. You know, he's also a Scorpio. Get what I'm saying? The legend of the giant scorpion, this goes back to ancient Greek mythology. When you know Artemis what I'm was saying? You know what I'm she saying? sent a giant scorpion no, to do her bidding, and in no, turn, saying, the beast no, got a pass to the heavens. Nice. You Scorpios, you're shady. I'm watching you. You're venomous. What? Sting. You're shady, going bitch. to heaven. Number nine, Leo. <laughs> no, Leo I'm the lion. Look at you roar, okay? We get it. I'm not Big even a brave and so bold I don't know what I'm and getting bashful. <laughs> I, I like the word bashful today. I'm using that a lot. But it's not your fault. It's just bashful. the hands that you were dealt with, right? It's just life. Giving this I'm a cancer. The zodiac myths so. surrounding yeah. this sign all That's began why when get Hercules get was a young chap. Cancers. Remember Hercules? Back when he was young? Good days. Hercules had to complete 12 tasks, the first of which was defeating the Nemean lion. Now, after defeating yeah, the foul beast with just his bare his bare hands, his bare Hercules hands, his old HH, the soul of said lion took its place among the stars. Now, Leo is one is of the two animals of the zodiac signs, like, beginning on July 24th, that, stretching to August 23rd. Hint something there that was weird. His bare, okay? you don't bare need a Hercules hands, you know, his bare hands. Your day up. You're the best his at friendships. You're a true companion. Yeah, but it's easy for somebody to, to take his bare advantage hands? Like, of said <laughs> kindness, okay? So watch your back. Watch those <laughs> around you. Roar sometimes, you know? Scare the, scare the shady ones away. Rah. You need to eat a Hercules from time to time. Okay, as history says, Leos are also known for getting revenge. So yeah, I'm watching you, Kyle. Number eight, Virgo. The maiden, of course, I can't forget about you lovelies. Let's do it. Your season is arriving soon. You're feeling it, right? It's in the air. You're feeling the change in the air around you. That back to school, holy crisp music. morning air. Let the plot like begin. My holy Let's do it. Beginning on August sounds. 24th and running until September 22nd. <laughs> I don't hear your the fire season sounds. of Virgo is quite I said positive. Fire hey, nice. Oh, You're your creative. Fire this sound? is the best time for you, right? Oh. You express yourself. <laughs> Yeah, music, like the noise suppression, like cut them off. Others, you help weird. others. Oh, but those standards, so yeah, they can get a little high. I'm not going to lie. They can it get a little so too holy. ambitious. You can be a bit judgy as well, okay? Sometimes you can overthink emotions and <laughs> or relationships. Or and you're also a mastermind, audio. which is a little terrifying. we got to keep an eye on you guys, for sure. This is a scary combo. If things don't go their way, they make things difficult and messy. The constellation Virgo has a dark backstory. It stems from the destruction of Pandora's box. Yeah, remember when demons were released to punish humanity? It's because of you. Get involved, but not too involved. Let let things happen. Don't open the box. Don't. Yeah, it's because of box. you. You were the, the person that Seven. opened the box. Cancer. Did somebody mention a giant crab? That's pretty terrifying. Let's talk about that. The constellation Cancer was born from Hera's hatred for Hercules. Yeah, you can't be slapping lions left, right, and center, my friend. And you can't be with it as well. I'm just Stop a woman. It. Zeus's queen, Hera, then sent a giant crab to kill Hercules. God damn. That ought to be quite the image. Looking back the at the rearview, seeing a giant crab behind you. See ya. Hercules also defeated the crab because... He's a unit, okay? Nothing's stopping him. He's literally Hercules. The crab pinched Hercules' toe, and in turn, he kicked it to the cosmos. See you later, pal. Gone. But these stars, this constellation, is not bright on purpose. See, since the crab didn't accomplish its task, it only gets about, you know, it only gets the 30 watt light bulbs up there in heaven. It gets the low dim stars, stars that are kind of dying. Stars. I don't know. That's Cancers that's run from June 22nd to July 22nd, so it's getting kind of close. Get them while they're on your side, right? Number six, Sagittarius. The archer, uh-oh, here we go, heads up. In Greek mythology, the archer of Sagittarius, their name was Crotus. It was a half goat and half man. The Sagittarius stands like Donald Trump. He's just like kind of always 
always involved. Crotus was an extremely so talented dark. musician and huntsman who was attributed with the magic of bow and arrow, okay? Nice. Yeah. The muses then asked Zeus to place him in the stars where he can be seen showing off his, in like you know, a cool. That's the thing. You guys are all show-offs, right? November 2nd, it makes December sense. 21st, Donald Trump the holiday makes season, duck right? Faces. No, gotta look at me instead. Forget your holiday staff party. My birthday's rolling around. It's all a party for me. Nothing is more important Yo. than Sagittarius' desires, okay? We gotta remember That's that. That's me but they're soft in November. Even though it's they're all Christmas, no bro. Ones. It's my birthday now. Here, okay? Number five, Capricorn, aka the goat, the G O A T. December twenty second to January nineteenth. Again, show ups, right? Capricorns well, are represented no by the sea goat, it's but its dark like side is represented the by the Leviathan. Great. Mm -hmm. Both I'd rather not be involved with. If I'm <laughs> being honest, with just the like goat. the sea itself, Capricorns can be extremely mysterious, dark, and dangerous. Stop yeah, they can be dangerous. There's always creature. some kind of mystery going on with a Capricorn. And you really never know what they're thinking. Creature. Capricorns yeah, can be very difficult to understand, which can make people feel like they're hard to deal with. That was creepy, bro. That was my sleep paralysis. It's not mm -hmm. us, it's them. Oh, hey, it's no, not me, not it's actually you this time. Fun mm -hmm. fact, Capricorns too can hold a grudge. So if you're close Those to Capricorn, this might be the, the year mix. to really, you know, heal some things or watch your back and run things. away as far as possible. Because you never know, okay? You never know with a Capricorn. I know a couple of these guys, they're all right. Capricorns are chill. I don't know why I'm roasting so hard. Number four, Taurus. You mess with the bull, you get the Taurus. Horuses. A Taurus is represented by the bull, what? which is one of the most accurate zodiac pairings that there is. But the dark side of your sign what is, is represented by a fallen about? demon. There's always drama with someone falling out of the skies or coming up from the hell. <laughs> the Taurus Just Hornuses. Say, can we chill, please? Things don't always go swimmingly for a Taurus, but they're strong, and more often than not, they end up Yo, making it to the, the other side That's not of said difficult bro. situations. So like, yeah, keep it up, Taurus guys. Like... But this can make them tough souls, right? This is good. This is all progress. With all the trials and tribulations faced in the past, we might see a Taurus close themselves off more than ever felt. before. So if you're a Taurus, that was like one up, of those you know? things that Comment you down can... below and say, hey, I'm a Taurus. Battle. Number three, Aquarius. Danny Mead was the young, the beautiful Colossus. prince of Troy. Remember him? Oh, so handsome. Anyone who looked at him, any gender, one of the you're doomed, pal. You're sucked into that beauty. January yeah. 20th to February Didn't 18th, Colossus right? Only the new year, eye. let's talk. New love. This is a fun no, one. Everybody else no. is getting attacked Didn't by cosmic the crabs or several several. Half bull, Those half were man Cyclops creatures. Over here, everybody's trying to just not hook up with an Aquarius. That's their main goal. <laughs> yes, at me? that's Cyclops. Oh, he's so hot. Okay, I have to go talk to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ganymede was a swift addition to Olympus as well as he charmed, you know, you everybody yourself. and everything up there. I didn't even, even know Zeus what caught she some feelings. Yeah, Zeus Cyclops. was like, hang on. Zeus! He disappointed Hera a bit when he anointed Ganymede as his lover and now his cupbearer. Yeah. Out of compassion, Ganymede begged Zeus to then help him send rain to the thirsty people on Earth. And Zeus, out of love, because he was so, ho oh, oh, of course, Zeus agreed and Ganymede was defined as Aquarius, aka God o Rain. Although an Aquarius can have zero compassion sometimes, they can ride solo at any point, okay? So don't ask for too much rain, or else you'll run the well dry. Number two, Gemini. Gemini is represented by the twin. But the dark side of their sign is the Hydra, or the Basilisk. Yeah, remember the Basilisk Damn. from Harry Potter? The thing he has to stab in the mouth with a sword? Awesome, you're one of those, apparently. A Gemini gets a bad rep for being two-faced, but I like to think of it more as multi-faced, you know? Like, hey, I can, they're, they're adaptable. They're not shady. They're not a, a basilisk. They're an adaptalisk. Gemini is known for their butterflies who can adapt to the many situations they find themselves caught in, right? They're good on their feet. But Gemini's can definitely be dangerous if you're not careful. That With the world good. opening back that up, Gemini's might get a little too excited and get back out there. We may see them making too many plans that they absolutely cannot keep up with. Is this me? This sounds a lot like me. Yeah, we should definitely start a podcast. Let's do it, man. Next, uh year maybe sure we can't keep up with plans I, i'm saying we this is definitely me and my soul it's also worth mentioning to try and be as clear as you can when you're speaking to a gemini because you might just see the other side right you might just get to them may 21st to june 20th go get them you immortal twins both of you and finally number one libra on my libra scales i'm weighing sins and forgiveness lil wayne 2011 Great line. The scales, baby. Let's see what's going on here. Let's what's find out about Libras. Over in this way. I had to save the best for last, you know, being being a Libra and all. Libras are represented by the scales and they're known as being one of the kindest signs. Of course. Aww. But they absolutely That's have my a dark Georgia. Side. Uh oh. Libras can be a bit harsh because they like things to be done well and they want their surroundings to be beautiful while they do it. Like this. Oh shit. Or this. 
That's beautiful, right? This can, however, make them a tad selfish or, you know, a lot selfish. Yeah, I'm talking about you, pal. It's me in the prompter. I'm just a little pep talk here. Libras have a good tendency to look at the bigger picture and they strive to please and make others happy, but this can often leave them forgetting about themselves, right? What about me? Damn it. This year, it might be easy for Libras to get burnt out trying to please others. It's also the only sign that's represented by an inanimate object, so that's, that's cool as well. I'm like, hey, I'm an object that weighs things. I'm not a fish or a crab or a lion, just the scale. Themis, the god of justice, holds a scale blindfolded in Greek mythology. Yeah, we don't look, but we do judge. Here we go, September yep. 23rd to October 22nd. I've been your host, Taylor McWatters. Happy birthday I am to Libra. Libra. the top 10 urban legends surrounding Zodiac ha. signs. We'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Did you learn something, Comet? Or did the powers of the white girl already know all this? Oh, I knew all this. God damn.